tonight, a possible breakthrough treatment being tested here in Chicago. Doctors at the University of Chicago Medicine are using blood plasma from recovered COVID-19 patients to treat those who are seriously ill with the disease. Dr. Maria Lucia Madariaga, a thoracic and lung transplant surgeon at the University of Chicago Medicine, joining us live via Skype. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Explain to us how exactly this works, taking blood from healthy patients and then you do what, or recovered patients? Yeah, so basically convalescent plasma relies on the principle of passive immunity. Essentially, we'll be taking plasma, which is a liquid part of your blood, from a patient who has recovered from the disease. Where's the thank you? And transfuse it into patients who are currently sick in the hospital in the hopes of transferring antivirus antibodies to fight COVID-19. This is a really special translational study because we are working closely with our colleagues across the University of Chicago, particularly with Dr. Patrick Wilson and his antibody lab, the blood bank, the Transplant Institute, the Department of Medicine and Department of Surgery to understand how convalescent plasma works, how we can best treat patients, and which proteins are the best targets for a vaccine. So doctor, this harkens back to something that's been done before. It's been used before with other diseases. You're completely right. So convalescent plasma is a historical treatment. In the 1900s, it was used to prevent school kids from getting measles. And more recently, it was used to treat patients with influenza, SARS-1, and MERS. Currently, early reports from China suggest that plasma therapy is helpful and safe. So who qualifies to be a part of this study? And, and how quickly is the turnaround? Do you know if this is actually working on those who are ill? So right now, what we really need are plasma donors. This treatment cannot work without plasma donors. Plasma donors are people who are age 18 or older. They had a positive COVID-19 test in the past, and they no longer have symptoms. We'll be giving this plasma to patients who are currently in the hospital with severe or life-threatening COVID-19. The reports that we have right now from around the world in centers who are using this form of therapy show that improvements occur in patients, but it's too early to say what the exact time course was going to be. All right, Dr. Maria Lucia Madariaga, thank you for joining us for our thank AT. You. And the help can't come soon enough. The total number of people with COVID-19 are suspected of having COVID-19 currently hospitalized in Illinois, right there, nearly 4,100. And the total number of ICU beds and ventilators in use are at the highest they've been since the outbreak as of today. More than 2,000 ICU beds are being used, 57% of those by COVID patients.